Hi, Vinny Lavardi here at Tech Support for Enabling Devices. Today we're here to talk about some of our most popular communicators with the scanning capabilities. We're going to go over each one of them individually with our supersized communicator, item 1221, our original Cheap Talk 8, item 3051 with scan, and one of our newer communicators, the Talk 8 2501 with 12 levels. We're here to talk about our scanning communicator. This is our Super size communicator item number 1221 and keep in mind that the focus of today's uh, video is regarding the scanning functions only we're not doing a complete overview of the product we really just want to focus on scanning we get a lot of questions asked about scanning so I want to try and cover that for you today all right um, I'll just do we'll basically go over the controls for you just real quickly um, on the back you have an on off volume control and also a scan speed adjustment so you can adjust it how fast the machine will scan. Okay. And then on the back you have the level changer, record button, and then your input jack for your switch, which you're going to use uh, is the only way you can access or use the scanning function is through an external switch. Nothing to do with the direct select. Okay. So I'm basically I'm going to turn the machine on. Level two. rotated through some levels to bring the machine up to the level we're going to work on which is level one and um, okay, I'm just setting up our product here with our icon holders you have two locations for the icons okay there's basically just two two modes or two ways you can use the scanning function on this machine um, like I said in the back, there's a jack, you plug in your switch, and you have uh, mode, one mode is called inverse scanning, which will, you will need to sustain activation of the switch, and I'm going to demonstrate that in a moment, um, and you need to hold that switch down as you're, you do that, the machine will scan past each one of these icons, uh, playing, playing the message at a low volume level, which is auto, also known as auditory cueing. When the user hears their selection, or they see the selection, they release their switch, it'll play back the entire message at a full volume level. The other mode is called automatic scanning. An auto scan will you need to just press the switch and then release the switch and the machine will automatically scan past each one of these messages and continue to do so until the user makes a selection again by touching the switch. Let me demonstrate. Auto scan. Now the change from auto scan to inverse scan is very simple. You're going to need to press cells uh, one and four simultaneously, and the machine's going to give you an indication uh, with a beep to let you know that the change has been made. Now it should be an inverse scan. This is a horse. It's a brown cap. Think pig. Think pig. And if you need to switch it back to auto scan, just press those two, uh, one and four again, and we'll revert back to um, to the auto scan. And also, don't forget, there's a scanning control knob on the bottom, which adjusts the rate and or speed of scan at which the uh, icons, the lights, will go past the icons. And that concludes the setup on the scanning capabilities of this machine. Okay, we're now talking about our. Talk 8, number 2501 with levels. This is a 12 level communication device with scanning capabilities. It actually has four modes of scan, and I'm going to go over each one of them. It has inverse scanning, which is um, when you're using a single switch, you would have to sustain activation of the switch, and the machine will go past each one of these icons to light up, and then when they see their selection, they will release. That's inverse. Then we have auto scan. Uh, we'd have to you just press the switch once, release, and the machine will automatically go past each icon, and then the switch is hit a second time upon for selection, and we'll play back the, the message. Then we have auto scan with um, two switch, where uh, one switch will 
start the scan and then you will stop it with that switch and then use another switch to actually play the message. And then the uh, last mode is two switch step scanning where one switch will advance the icon one at a time from based on each hit and then the second switch will play the message. But I'm going to go all over all that um, each mode and it also has auditory cueing. You can turn the uh, auditory cueing will give the user um, hearing the message at a lower volume and then when they do make the selection the message will play back at normal volume and that can be turned on and off. Um, this um, segment we're going to talk about, I'm not actually going to go over the whole products, functions and features, we're really just going to focus only on the scanning portion of this. So I'm just going to keep that um, just in that portion of the machine. But I will give you a quick overview here of this. Um, here's your on-off volume control and your scan speed setting, so you can adjust the scan speed. Um, and then you have a jack labeled jack 1 and jack 2, that's for switch 1 and switch 2. Um, you will use the one switch for the modes that we had that require the two modes that require it. And then the two switch would be used for the um, two switch mode setup. On the bottom, you have your auditory cueing button to turn that on and off. You can turn that off at any time. So let me just start by um, showing you how the machine works. The first mode we're going to talk about, turning on my machine. One is the inverse scanning with the single switch. I'm going to plug my switch right here in the back, switch jack one. Okay, and then so press the switch and hold. Now it's going past each icon. Watch TV. Now I can also add press the auditory cueing button to give the user, especially somebody who's visually impaired, they can hear the message. Teacher, mom, Knock. plays it at a lot of volume. The next mode is auto scan, and the way you change the modes is pressing cells seven and one simultaneously. The machine is going to beep the actual amount of times to indicate what mode it's on. So the machine is just beeped twice. It's going to let you know that it's on mode two, which is auto scan. And the way that works is the switch is already plugged in. Pressure switch, release. Teacher. Mom. Nap. 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 Uh, I did have the auto cue on, and you can also do it, turn it off if you want. So just a visual. Nap. Okay. The next mode is two switch. It's a auto scan with two switch. So again, one and seven. Now we'll need a second switch and as I noted in the back there's another jack here. Plug your switch in. So the way this works is this switch will start and stop the scan and then this switch will play back the message. Let's show that. Stop it. Toy cars. Plays back the message. And you can also do that with the auditory cue. And then the last mode is step scan to switch. Okay, it's indicated in mode four. Each time I hit this switch, the machine is going to advance to the next message. And then once you make the selection, watch TV. And that's it. This goes. This is over the all the functions of the scanning. We've gone over every every feature and function pertaining to the scan. And thank you.